American troops brought a decisive contribution to the victory of France in 1917 and again at the landing of American troops in 1944. In the name of France, allow me to confer upon you my country's highest award, la Légion d'honneur. I went to Europe on the Queen Mary on January 5th of 1945 and started flying missions at that time. Uh, from northern France, I flew 20 missions. I was a, uh, uh, a bombardier. Uh, this is the nose of the plane, okay. and I was seated in there. When I became a lead bombardier, uh, the Norton bomb site was in there too. The Norton bomb site was a very uh, top secret instrument. Uh, the captain of the plane uh, was, uh, and pilot was Cyrus D. Kirk uh, from Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, this is me. I was from Great Falls, Montana. And this is uh, Jim Hart, the co-pilot. And this is James Kidd, the uh, radio man. And this is the engineer, uh, Harold Kepner. And then finally, uh, John Ogden, the tail gunner. We were young kids. Uh, and uh, in one sense, we were fearless. You know, we had no wife or children uh, at home to worry about, at least a lot of us. That was my case. I was 19 years old uh, when I arrived in France, uh, and uh, we had a very wonderful camaraderie. To my knowledge, the only two who are currently living are the pilot, uh, Cyrus D. Kirk, and myself. Yeah. When uh, we bombed German anti-aircraft uh, guns placed uh, in the on the east side of the Rhine, up near Holland, in Netherlands, and uh, to see uh, uh, that our bombing mission silenced the German 88 and aircraft guns. And then the moment when we turned around and we could see all those uh, planes and paratroopers and, and, uh, and gliders uh, ready to drop on the eastern side of the Rhine, uh, and you know that you did a job well done. Uh, that, that, uh, uh, that's always in my mind, uh, how, not always, but it's in my mind as to a, a great, wonderful feeling. I was very thrilled that he was getting it because uh, it's not something that you think about, but it's something that really should not be forgotten. As time passes, I think uh, individuals tend to forget all the, the accomplishments and all the sacrifices that the soldiers and the families, uh, not just in the United States, but other countries have made on behalf of liberty and freedom, uh, and it's something that should never be forgotten. Uh, well, I think it's a really big deal for uh, us as a family and for him. I know it means a lot to him. It's, uh, it's really good to know that people appreciate what he went through and what he did in World War II. Uh, well, I, I'm very touched, uh, very honored, uh, and uh, and based upon my experiences in France at that time, I uh, feel very grateful uh, to the French government uh, for this type of honor.